Welcome to Still Rising Review, you automatonic bastards. Got early key from Nakon Publishers, so thanks to them I can bring content earlier than usual. Still Rising is Souls-like game from Spider Studio that created games such as Of Orcs and Men, Greedfall that I like a lot, Bound by Flame, Technomancer and couple more. First I have to say a few words about spiders and why such studios are important in today's gaming landscape. Well, for simple reason, that they try new things all the time. I'd rather play any new release from spiders than typical copy-paste mediocrity that studios like Ubisoft produce. So I respect Spider's studio a lot. That being said, I have one gripe with them and wish someone from the studio would watch this video. I want them to realize their full potential, but in every game I have played of theirs one thing was never as good as the rest of the game, and that is combat. Spiders, it is not that you do bad combat, far from it, however it isn't good either. When doing Souls game like Steel Rising that can be a serious problem. Would love that studio hires outside help for future projects such as Gridfall 2 to make combat great. Combine high quality combat like in Timesia or Neo with everything else still rising and you would have amazing product that could easily rival from software titles. Honestly, I prefer Spider Storytelling to From Softwares, without a doubt, but that is subjective. So let's get started with combat and why it isn't up to par with the rest of the game. As I said, it ain't bad, but considering this is souls like it needs to be better. Attack animations are great, reaction to hits are mostly decent, weapons are really good and diverse enough, there are ranged options as well. So what is wrong then? Kinda hard to describe. Combat feels a bit plastic, like animations in between are missing. For example dodge is instant animation, there is no dodge cancel, sometimes attacks don't produce enemy reactions at all and such things. I understand we are controlling a robot that battles other robots, but it doesn't feel right. Frame manipulation isn't good as sometimes hits connect and sometimes they don't do anything. Sorry if I'm not explaining it in an understanding manner, but I hope you get the point. Combat is simply weakest part of Steel Rising unfortunately, even with good stuff like weapons, ranged options and great attack animations. Everything else in Steel Rising ranges from good to great. Storytelling was always spider strong suit and it is no different here. Setting is French Revolution at the end of 18th century with prominent figures being represented such as Robespierre, Marie Antoinette, King Louis XVI, Cagliostro also known as Balsamo and many others. Excuse my French. You are a dancer created by Vaucanson in service of the Queen to help with revolution as there aren't many capable soldiers to deal with automaton army of the King. Through the story you are going to find out how each of revolutionists think, their goals and their secrets which encompasses whole story. Your decisions also matter as next leader of France depends on it, although ending left me a little bit dissatisfied because I didn't get explanation of consequences of my decisions. Besides that story is top notch, characters are vastly different with good voiceovers and dialogue between them is quite interesting. Of your great concern. Seigneur, the children, what happened? Tell me that nothing bad has happened to them. That remains to be determined. One thing is certain, Charlotte and the young Dauphin are missing. The evidence points to an ambush by the Duke d'Orléans' men. They apparently... How? How that? This ambush could not... Side quests also make sense and have deeper meaning that tie closely to main characters. Usually this means going back to certain parts of Pyres that were inaccessible before due to lack of progression tools. Overall they are positive diversion from main path. I am happy with how Paris is done as story takes you through many famous parts like Bastille and Versailles. Game is little bit too linear with vast majority of locked content being inaccessible due to lack of progression tools gained through story progression. Side quests are directly connected to these closed off areas, so exploration is minimal even if it might seem there is far more to explore at first. Nevertheless locations become more interesting as game goes on. At first they are a bit dull, but that quickly changes. More you play better it becomes. Talking about character progression, besides metroidvania tools that unlock new paths, there are attributes that complete character's playstyle. 
gains from attribute increase are not that big, which is good in a way, because there is no respect, but other playstyles retain value still to an extent in case you want to try something else. However, much later in the game focused playstyles need to be used due to larger enemy health bars. Next to attributes there are modules that can be exchanged at any time and they have significant impact like big health boost, significant increase in charge, the tag damage, significantly reduce stamina but dodge doesn't cost a thing in that case, increased elemental defense and so on. In the end however weapons are what matters most. Difference is huge, fans that can block or counter attack, halberds that can shoot, fire chains, claws, muskets. Important part are also three elements, fire, ice and electricity. Fire puts damage over time effect on enemies, ice freezes for a short period of time and electrified enemies take more damage while in that state. For a 20 to 30 hour game this is more than enough to play around with. Now to talk about enemies, bosses, AI, balancing and such. Enemy variety is good enough, but as game progresses they tend to repeat themselves a bit. Far from bad, but it could be better. Automatons have typical differences like slower, faster, harder hitting, more aggressive and they are nicely distributed, so you never have feeling of constantly battling same enemy type in one sitting. Bosses are aesthetically amazing, but unfortunately way too easy due to combat deficiencies mostly. Mechanics are good, but the way they are implemented in this whole combat system just doesn't click right. It makes the game easy due to balancing issues and bosses are probably easiest in any Souls game I have ever played. I think I've died once only. They are divided into mini bosses and titans that are true bosses. Honestly mini bosses are more problematic, but even they are pushovers. AI is also part of the problem, as it seems sometimes enemy don't even react anymore as they stop responding, allowing unanswered strikes. There is lot to be desired in terms of balancing and AI. No new game plus as well to see how I would fare against tougher enemies. Game was played on PC and it looks good and runs well enough with some frame drops in open areas. Paris looks great with lots of details, optimization could be a little bit better but that might be sorted till release date as this review has been done 5 days before release. Aegis looks fantastic with great animations even if some of the attacks being a little bit over the top leading to too much time wasted in between, but it is a minor thing. Enemies are robots so hard to judge robotic animations but they do have enough graphical detail but nothing amazing. Voiceover is good, music is ok -ish, but during few boss fights sometimes felt like it doesn't know what to do with itself volume and beat wise. Sound effects are good as every attack is accompanied by proper bang and impact sound. Verdict time. Still Rising is an ambitious project from Spider's studio and in some aspects it delivers amazingly well, while in others fails to rise above mediocrity. For me it is a good game, so I give it 7 out of 10 with potential staying the same as combat would need to become much better for hard score, but that requires a rework which isn't realistic to expect. Still a good game nonetheless which shows how great the game is in some aspects with tons of attention to detail. Keep going spiders, you can achieve greatness with bit more combat refinement in future titles. I have faith in you and I barely say that these days in gaming.